I truly believe that keeping the elbow up on the serve is a myth and I tell my students don't be afraid to drop the elbow in the preparation phase of the stroke. We're going to be observing the serve power position which is the most important part of the serve and is the prerequisite for a big serve. Now we're going to observe a few pro players and we're going to see how every single time the elbow is actually below the back shoulder until the initiation of the forward swing. Now, here's what we're going to ingrain. When the racket tip is up, the elbow is down. And then when the racket tip falls down, the elbow then comes up. The high elbow is going to be a consequence of the much more important factors, okay? We can't skip the steps. So we are going to get up into this high elbow, boom, power position, but it needs to be a byproduct of more important factors, specifically the leg drive, specifically the leg drive, which is going to start the serve, the shoulder flip where this back shoulder is going to switch positions with the front shoulder, as we can see. And all of this is going to happen while the racket comes along for the ride. So the high elbow is a consequence of the uncoiling of the entire body. Now that we've clarified that, look at a few more players who do the same thing and again from the power position when the racket tip is up the elbow is down and this shoulder over shoulder position is a combination of the tossing arm and the knee bend okay so this is not a manipulation of the hips just to make that clear the hips are actually level now again as we can see we're going to uncoil from the body and the racket's going to come along for the ride and not until the racket's all the way down here in the power position as the last part of the serve is the elbow actually starting to come up so it's important to get the elbow high up here but before the serve it's down, it's loose, it stays on the outside of the body. From here to the racket drop is actually a relaxation of the racket, okay? In order for you to get this extreme angle where the racket basically falls with the tip pointing straight down to the ground, you have to lose all tension in your arm from this point on. So right from here, it's the arm becoming dead weight. It's a relaxation. And this is coming down at literally, let's say, a 0 out of 10. Like this arm becomes dead weight. It becomes a, a 0 out of 10. And the racket's got to come along for the ride as we throw the body now. That's the key to getting a deep racket drop and massive amounts of power on the serve. You got to stay loose to famoose the goose and if you're pulling the racket back into this position it is not going to be anywhere near as effective and you're not going to have that drive. So you got to lose all tension and at this point the racket is just along for the ride. Now let's look at the power position and a few more players to have a low elbow in the preparation phase of the serve it's probably good enough for you and me as well again as we can see the back elbow is actually in fact below the back shoulder and we've got the shoulder over shoulder hitting structure which is going to flip along with the leg drive as the racket falls in between the ear and the elbow and it relaxes, not pulls, relaxes down into the racket drop. And only after the shoulders have flipped, the legs have exploded, 
does the high elbow. That's true. But a lot of people are trying to get from here to there without doing the prerequisites. You can't skip steps. Now, let's look at a few more players. Look at the elbow in relation to the back shoulder. It's low. You've got the shoulder flip, the relaxation, boom. And only at the end of the stroke is the elbow getting up. Elbow is below the back shoulder and we've got the shoulder over the shoulder. And only after the shoulders have flipped and the legs have driven up, rack it down, elbow up as the last part. We can't skip steps. We're going to look at one more player as proof of the soundness of this principle. Boom. Low elbow. Okay, if it's good enough for these players, it's probably good enough for you as well. And only at the very, very end of the stroke is the high elbow important, but you never want to start with a high elbow in the preparation phase. It's got to be loose. The arm has got to be along for the ride. In any event, thanks for tuning in and use what you've learned to modernize your game. If you like what you learned here, I recommend taking the next step and trying out my free online course. You can get it by clicking the link down in the description.